now let's go back to the Lekma area where my colleagues Daniel Dazi and Koji Youngson are speaking to residents about the poor nature of the road. For the sake of time, you were MCE in 2009. You oversaw the payments of compensation. Yeah. In your time, what yes. happened? In my time, when we finished with the compensation, in we started the work. It was given to a local contractor who was also doing the bush road. He was doing the two road simultaneously. Then somewhere along the line, we realized that it was not performing. So the contract was terminated. When? And it was, the contract was terminated early 2013. Early 2013. Early 2013. And I understand from the Project Implementation Committee, and our sources there are telling us that there was a new plan drawn somewhere in 2014, and since then we haven't seen any move done because monies have not been released. That was also not true. In fact, the contractor who was working initially, it was not dual carriage. We decided to do one side and then wait for the other session. But 2013, when the contract was re-awarded in 2014, it was dualized. So they were to do double carriage way. And that was the contract who was working up to 2017 when okay. the contract was put on hold for okay. forensic audit. Okay. Three days ago, when I listened to your story, I was told the contract was terminated and it was awarded in October last year to a Nigeria contractor who has his site office just behind the hospital. And then we also learned that that contractor is not performing. The contract has been terminated and it has been reawarded because there was a demonstration. Not far, not long yeah, ago. Yeah, not too long ago. Where the MP was present, and the MP made a pronouncement that the contract has been awarded to a Chinese contractor who did the Burma Camp Road. In fact, if you look at you, you listen carefully to the video. Mm. But what he said three days ago was slightly different. I also heard the municipal chief executive saying that the road is beyond the municipality. Uh, that is also another aspect that I find difficult to understand. I procure a grader. The grader work is to do interventions. When the, and it is not only this road. We have a lot of road in the municipality. The reason why we procure the grader is that any time there are portals, the grader will go and grade it. Whilst we are but you would agree with me, Mr. Mensah, that this yeah. road is beyond a, the work that a grader has to be done. And there's a major project being done here, which we have to end in as fast. But thank yeah, you very we agree. much. Thank you very much, Mr. Amate Mensah, yeah. for um, sharing those insights with us on the history of the projects. Let me come quickly to uh, Madame Dorothy Akuma Amua, who is a resident of the area. Um, you were making a the point there when, the, when we had the technical challenge there. You can go ahead now. Leading to the uh, government to the road, it's, it's, it's our right for him to do it for us. And people are dying. I can witness one in my house. Mm. Yes, my tenant. He had a. Um, she is pregnant and she's attending um, maternity uh, care here. Okay. Because of the road, she had a miscarriage. Really? Yes. Just four years ago, and right now she's pregnant. She's outside. She has went to uh, Canada or something to have a baby. Can you imagine? Hmm. So at that time, what what were the events that led to the miscarriage? When did she leave the house, and when did she lose the baby? We couldn't get a taxi. If you uh, call the taxi, Lekma, no, the road is bad, so I'll not go. So when we had a, a, a neighborhood friend that is bringing her to the hospital, the way the road is shaking, and even the person is complaining that the admod, admod Ab abdomen is paining her. And right now, see the, the condition of the road. Mm. Just imagine. Mm. From, I can say, Akamba's house near Sojama to this place. You can just imagine. There's been so much frustration that I hear in your... But first of all, let me just thank uh, Mr. Blocker, our uh, Momo vendor. Um, okay, so you, you want to make this point? Yeah, quickly it's very I important. And then our another major problem is whenever it rains. I have been here several occasions because this is my shop. And I've been here several occasions whenever it rains at night. When it rains at night, I'm telling you, my brother, car cannot enter into this hospital. Because this entrance, just this entrance, is flat to the thing that when I am standing there, it comes close to my waist. How do you expect a taxi 
to cross that. It's, called, it's a river. Whenever it rains, I wish one day it will rain the joy of people you come around to check. Look at my height. Whenever it rains, it's close mm. to my waist. And sometimes, because they cannot, drivers cannot use this first lane, they always move to the other lane. To the other lane. And it's very bad. So imagine maybe someone is in a very critical condition and they are driving the person on the rain and it's raining heavily. Wow. Imagine what will happen. Last time what happened was that some of us, some of us have to leave our shop around 9 o'clock when it was raining. We have to leave our shop, run to this place, pick a pregnancy woman from the taxi because the taxi cannot come. Carry her, cross the river because it's not, it's not a, something like me. It's a river. Cross it and bring her in. Wow. I remember very well. It has ever rained to the extent that where we are sitting now, it has flat before. Look at the distance from the gate to this place. It's very, very bad. I am expecting that the nature of uh, uh, Gatex they have to do right in front of the Lekma, they are not doing it. it. It's not in their plan. As my honorable is saying that it has been awarded, they started some years ago. Yes. You see, they said that they started the award, the, the drainway. Is that not it? According to his statement. In the, in the, yeah, you, you know what? You know what? The details of the implementation of the project is a matter that we have to deal with. But thank you very much, Mr. Yeah. Blocker, for joining us. And that story about the flooding on the road is a very terrible one. Nathan, you are also resident of the area. And um, I can only imagine what you go through every day. In fact, it's, it's such a depressing situation we are having to deal with right now. And like the gentleman rightly said, when it rains, you are in trouble. If it doesn't rain, and it's um, sunshine, you are still in trouble because you can't deal with the dusty nature of the environment. And when it rains too, cars will not be able to ply that road. It's such a depressing situation we are having to go through. And for me, as a journalist and as a resident, I have gone through this um, really terrible situation for years. And I think we are just sick and tired of the kind of stories we've had politicians say over and over again. And between the NPP and the NDC, this thing has gone on for far too long. In 2015, I was around here to cover the demolition exercise right from the Teshi end to um, Manet. Yes. Manet. Yes. I was here. I covered it for my joy online. And I knew the kinds of things we went through with people crying all over with the promise that this road will be built. Mm. And I can imagine the amount that was stated as the cost for building the road at that particular point in time. Five years on, we are still where we are. And I can imagine the price of building the, the road has now been inflated. Yes, yes, yes. And well, it's, it's, so it's even gone up um, it's so a, depressing. for, for and, different and, reasons. And for me, I can, there's one story that I, I, I have to say. I used to live at my brother. And at that place, it's really very difficult for taxis to go there when it rains. And one Sunday, I was going to church. There was no vehicle to convey me from that place to this place for me to carry on my journey. I had to walk. And can you imagine what happened? I slipped, fell, and I just couldn't go. Wow. I just couldn't go to church again. I had to go back. And this is the kinds of stories that you hear residents every tell single every single day. Not to talk about the health implications, which, which I'm sure all over this morning off. people have, have, have spoken about. Nathan, thank, thank you so, so much for sharing that story with us. And let me also thank Mr. Martin Mensa and yeah, Jyoti yeah, yeah. Aka Amwa, uh, Amwa for joining us this morning. You guys were talking about what happens when it rains and it floods. And Kojo Yangsen is here mm. with a video of that. Kojo, take us through what, what we are seeing. Dan Daniel, uh, we'll be loading up this video on all of our platforms very soon so that uh, you at home can watch what I'm watching right now. But you know what? You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. You're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea if you live in this area. Because look, when, it's, when the sun is out, you have to worry about the dust, which will cause you all kinds of problems, damage your property, and in fact, cause you health uh, issues. And when it rains, it gets worse. I'm looking at a video here of this exact same area. Uh, after some rain and well you can't see the road all you see is a river of brown water engulfing everything people's stands and stalls that uh, you would normally see uh, standing upright on the pavements are all half submerged under rainwater brown rainwater through which cars are struggling to drive you can see cars that have stopped because they simply can't uh, uh, you know continue any longer and this is just one example 
of what happens here on a rainy day. Uh, and uh, I've got to tell you, Daniel, look, this problem, the, the problem that this road poses mm. to the people of this community cannot be overestimated, no matter how much hyperbole you used to describe it. This is a nightmare. And if you live in this area, all you would want at this point is for the government to fix LECMA. and the AM show on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Daniel Dazzi. This was a show with a simple message. Hashtag fix Lekma now. And my name is Kojo Yangsa. Thank you so much for making the time to be with us. Uh, let's hope for results. Yes, and the Akan platforms of the multimedia group will be here tomorrow. Um, Adum FM's Jason Sem and Adum TV's Bedroom will be here mm. to do the exact same drive that must be done, the significant push that is needed to see like my road fixed. All have right. a super day. Until then, uh, please uh, go to myjoinonline.com for updates on all of our news content. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.